So we're on screen one. We're gonna go down to the little cog here in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And then the two cogs up the top. Um, this is a three bin machine we're looking at now. We're currently looking at bin one. Uh, the product is wheat. We press on product. Uh, down the bottom here, we, we see calibrate on the bottom of the screen. We're gonna press on calibrate and then start calibration. Up the top here in the calibration screen, we've got calibration amount, and this is the amount of weight we want to collect, which is five kilos. Um, and then now we've set the five kilos, we're gonna go down to the back of the machine and we're going to start the calibration weight uh, collection process. Okay, so we've set up the tractor. Uh, we've told it we want to calibrate five kilos of product through the meter box. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up the meter box here to expose the bottom of the meter box in the meter wheel assemblies. We're going to put in our calibration tray. And because this is the first time we're going to be using the system, what we want to do is prime the system. So we've got, currently we've got wheat in, in the bin. I'm just going to push the button here for a second. And um, that's going to start the system up. I'm just going to give it a few seconds. We're going to stop the system. We're going to take out what we've collected. So what we've done basically there is prime the system. So currently um, we've pressed the run hold button. Our meter system is now calibrating and it's going to give us our first sample weight. So we've collected our first sample. It won't be exactly five kilos because we haven't calibrated the machine yet. This is just our first sample. So what we're going to do is take that sample weight out now. We're going to weigh it on the scales and then we're going to see what the, uh, the scale tells us it is. We'll then enter that information into the monitor. It'll recalibrate itself because it's now found We've, we've told it it's not quite five kilos. It'll then rerun uh, a calibration again. We'll come down here, rerun the calibration uh, weight uh, with the scales and uh, hopefully we'll end up with five kilos exactly. So we've collected our sample weight from the cedar. We told the monitor we wanted five kilos. Um, this is our first weight. So what we need to do is find out what exactly the machines put out. So we turn on our scales, we get our tray, make sure it's tidy, empty, tear out the weight so it's at zero, then we're going to add the product that we collected into the sample tray. So currently our weight is around 6.2 kilos. So now what we're going to do is go and tell the monitor that we've received a value of 6.2 kilos, uh, a weight of 6.2 kilos from the cedar, even though we wanted five, and then the system will calibrate itself and then we'll rerun the calibration again. Now we've collected our sample weight from the air cedar and we know it was just over six kilos. So we're going to tell the system we wanted five, but you gave me 6.1 kilos and then we're going to hit the tick box and it's going to say it's going to change the values because what it gave us uh, was uh, greater than the amount we wanted and then we hit the OK button. So we've already gone through the process of calibrating the first time. We asked for the system for a weight of 5 kilos, it gave us a weight of over 6 kilos. We've gone and entered that information into the system. Um, now we've recalibrated it again, come down, collected our sample weight, so this is our second sample weight. We place the uh, sa sample into the container. Check it against the weight. And it's 5.06 kilos, so we're pretty well spot on to where we need to be for five kilos. So we've gone and got our second calibration weight. Um, we asked the system for a weight of five kilos. We've gone and done the calibration. We've come back with the measured amount. The measured amount taken was 5.06 kilos. Hit OK. 
and the amount measured is 5.06 kilos, hit OK, and then again we're going to hit the OK button here because we're changing the value of pulses per second to match the weight that we've just taken.